Hello everyone, and welcome to my garage. It's currently filled with car right now, but this is where I'm building my first guitar. And when I decided to make my own guitar, I wanted to do everything on my own, which means making my own pickups, which means getting a pickup winder. And after Googling how much a pickup winder costs, I couldn't really justify that cost uh, for something that right now it's just a hobby so I decided to make my own uh, and I just wanted to make a video to kind of go through what I did because I don't think there's there's a few good videos on YouTube that I was able to find but none that I felt I could replicate easily and this what I ended up making is super easy uh, so yeah let's let me show you it So this is the box, the pickup winder. Um, it's just a box. I made it of MDF. Mine's a little big, probably, but that's because I made the box before I had the parts. I didn't measure, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, so on the front, this is like the on and off switch slash um, speed controller. Up is counterclockwise. Middle is no spin. Down is clockwise. Um, this is just a counter that runs off a little battery that is connected to a sensor here that goes through and sticks out on this side. And then on this little paddle that I also made of MDF, there's a little tiny magnet. And every time it spins, it passes here and adds one to the counter. And it's pretty accurate. I did some slow-mo tests just to double check and make sure my windings were being counted right and it's surprisingly accurate for like a five dollar part off Amazon so the last piece inside is this little 12 volt DC motor um, this little bracket here is kind of a tension fit that's probably not the right word I can't think of it right now but um, yeah, it just squeezes it in there, and then it kind of comes, pokes through, the shaft pokes through a little into the back of this. And I just use super glue. There's probably better ways, but I was lazy, so I just use super glue. Um, and then the last bit is this power brick. Just bought off Amazon. Anyone will do. Um, so starting from the power, it comes in the box goes to the, this little board that sticks out of the speed controller. It's super easy. There's a positive and negative. Um, I had to cut off the end of mine and just splice it manually, but you can buy adapters. So you don't have to do that, but mine was broken, so I just cut it off man and did it all manually. So that's the power. And then on the bottom two is another ground. Maybe you can see that. Yeah, the power plus and minus, and then the motor plus and minus. Power goes to the top, motor goes to the bottom, and then I just soldered them um, on here. And you can see, I don't know if it matters which one's positive and which one's negative. I don't know for sure. I don't think so. I think it might just spin the opposite way if you get them switched around, but don't quote me. Follow the signs. Follow the plus sign. Follow the negative sign. Just in case. Um, and then the last bit, I guess, is this little piece of aluminum I don't know it's really soft I got the wrong kind mine's hollow you really want a solid bar just so you can hold the wire here and these are the guides um, just some bushings that's what you call them it's been a long time but I got two on here so the line rides here and this uh, I was making some p90s so when I glue the bobbin here it spins and you set these bushings so you can just have a guide for the line so you're not eyeballing it and you know get it off the bobbin that'd be bad um, don't do that so I have two for the guides one here to keep it together and then another one on the other side just to help it not wiggle around still probably should check it every time you know just in case but yeah um, oh and then this is a uh, I just drilled a tiny hole to hold the allen wrench to adjust the bearings so I don't lose it because I would definitely lose it and 
finding Allen wrenches in my toolbox over there is, it sucks. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's uh, just turn it on so you know I'm not lying and it actually works. There's one on the counter already. So this should spin counterclockwise, so we'll watch this. There we go. It's kind of loud. That might just be the way I made it though. So you can see, maybe if you slow down the YouTube video, but let's put it up to full speed because this is what you want to do when you are when you got everything set right. You don't want to sit here forever. So it's, uh, yeah, it's really fast. I don't know if you can hear me. But yeah, it works, it works. So we'll turn that off and then uh, we'll re reset this and turn those off also because I'm not going to wind in the pickup. It's very... It's fun, but man, it's uh, scary. So yeah, that's it. It's a very simple build. I could probably do some more work on the box like this. Don't ask me what happened there. I don't know. It's just held together with brad nails because screwing this together was a lot slower than brad nails. But you know, I'm not going to be throwing this box around, so it's probably fine. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I'll try to link. All these parts in the description so it's easy to find. This probably took like five minutes to put together once I had the box and the parts. Um, but like you don't even need a box. You can set this stuff up on like a post or something just as long as everything's steady. But I wanted the box just so it's more sturdy or something. So yeah, let me know if you have any questions. Leave a comment down below. And maybe one day I will make a guitar build video series or something.